Welcome to Agribusiness Insider, your number one organic poultry farming YouTube channel. In this video, I want to discuss one of the most requested video topics on the comment section of our videos, and that is the vaccination schedule for the broilers and the layer chicken. In the next couple of minutes, I'll not only give you the vaccination schedule for both broilers and layers, but also I will tell you how to properly administer vaccines to chicken to ensure effectiveness. I'll also tell you the critical diseases that shouldn't lack in your vaccination program. And finally, the precautions to take to avoid inactivating the delicate vaccines. It takes a lot of time, energy, and money to make these videos to make sure that the information we share is valuable and of help to the farmers. Therefore, I'll appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to our channel and also hit that notification bell so that you will be notified every time that we post on our channel. If you get value from our videos, kindly make sure that you hit that like button. Among us, the best ways to prevent diseases, vaccination is one of the best ones. Vaccination in chicken starts from day one and ends in day 28 for the broilers and up to week 18 for the layer chicken. It can even go beyond these dates, depending on the conditions of the area your farm is located in. Something to note is that vaccination programs usually vary depending on disease prevalence in the region that your farm is located in. Therefore, there's nothing like a one specific vaccination program or vaccination schedule for all the places or all the farms. However, in both breeder and layer vaccination programs, there are several important diseases of interest that every vaccination program should have, no matter the region you, your farm is located in. In breeder chicken, the vaccination program should not lack vaccines for these diseases. Number one, there's the Marex disease, there's the Newcastle disease virus, there's the vaccine for the infectious bronchitis and also the vaccine for the infectious basal disease or the Gumboro disease. These vaccines should never lack on your vaccination program as a broiler farmer. In the layer chicken, the list is quite long because as we all know, the layer chicken will live more or spend more time in the farm up to even 18 to 24 months. Some of the vaccines of important diseases that shouldn't lack on your vaccination program as a layer farmer include a vaccine of, of Marex disease, the Newcastle disease, a virus, the infectious bronchitis, uh, the Gumboro or the infectious basal disease. There's also vaccines for fall pox, fall typhoid and infectious coryza. And now I will start with the vaccination program for broiler chickens. Kindly make sure that you pause the video and take a screenshot or write down the program somewhere. Make sure to consult your vet or an animal health expert in your area to know more about the diseases that affect chicken in your area. He or she may adjust this vaccination program that I have given you to fit your region and protect your chickens from diseases effectively. Here is the vaccination program for the layer chickens. Also, kindly pause the video and note down. Also, as in the breeder vaccination program, also make sure that you consult uh, with your vet or your animal health pr practitioner to make sure that you adjust this uh, layer vaccination program that, has, that I have given you so that it can fit that of the diseases that, that are affecting chickens at, at your area. Now, let us discuss how to administer vaccines in broilers and layers and some safety precautions to take so as to ensure that the, that the vaccine is effective after administration. Another thing to note is that different vaccines have different modes of administration as you have seen 
on the vaccination program tables. Here, I want to particularly discuss on one of the ways of administration and that is through the drinking water. If the vaccine requires to be injected to the chicken, kindly seek the services of a qualified vet or a qualified animal health practitioner. Vaccines for, for example, the Newcastle disease and the infectious bronchitis are usually stored in ice. Therefore, after buying, you should administer them to your chickens as soon as possible. During diluting the vaccine, when you are opening the bottle that contains the vaccine, first make sure that you put a water in one drinker, then dip the bottle that contains the vaccine into the water, into the water that you want to dilute the vaccine with, and open when that bottle is still in the water. This is because uh, the, the vaccine is usually packed with some air pressure. If you open it in air, that pressured air may escape and when it's escaping, it may, you know, splash with the vaccine and vaporize some of the vaccine into the air. Therefore, if you open it when it's in the water, then you're going to be guaranteed that all the vaccine is going to be diluted in that water. Some of the other precautions to take during vaccination is that make sure that you thirst or you withdraw the water from the chicken for four to five hours prior to administering the vaccine. This is to make sure that each and every chicken drinks the water that contains the vaccine after you reintroduce this water. This is because also the vaccine decreases its effectiveness after three hours. Therefore, if your bird will not have drank the water containing the vaccine in the first three hours, then you may find that the effectiveness of that vaccine in, it, in the chicken's body is going to be lowered. And Another precaution is never use chlorinated water to dilute vaccines. This is because the chlorine in the water kills the vaccine and reduces its effectiveness. The other precaution is never vaccinate sick birds or birds showing signs of illnesses or stress. This is because the mode of action of the vaccine is to introduce some weakened pathogens into the body of the chickens with the aim of alerting the immune system of the chicken to produce antibodies that are going to help to fight this infection if it occurs in future. Therefore, if your bird's immune system is compromised by the an existing disease or stress, you may find that after administering this weakened uh, pathogens that are in the vaccine, you may find that that disease that you are preventing your chickens from it may develop now in the chicken because the immunity is suppressed. Therefore, make sure that your chickens first recover from these diseases or this condition before you administer the vaccine. After vaccinating your, ch your chicken, you may also want to know how to boost production in your layer chicken. And that is why I recommend the video that is on your screen right now. Click on it and learn the fastest organic supplements to boost production in your layer chicken.